Okay, Allison asked a really great question. How do you choose where to spend your time and energy when it comes to social content and overall engagement? I found that I might only have an hour to spend engaging online or crafting content to post, but I want to get the most out of it. Is it wise to focus on one platform to start and really nail the process? Yes. Um, I think that's where people really get tripped up is when they're trying to do too, they're trying to do too much at once. Um, and I'm guilty of this. Um, so what I really would do is get hyper-focused on one platform that kind of speaks to you, get in the rhythm of it, start to feel really good about it, and then go from there. And keep in mind, you can, um, we, you can reuse a lot of that content for other platforms, right? So you'll see I often will do one long post on LinkedIn, and I'll take that post and I'll cut it up into... Um, a few smaller ones and post that on Twitter, or I'll use the same copy with an image for Instagram. Um, you know, I'll make some tweaks to it, but you don't need to have a radically different, like, you know, content or radically different strategy for every single platform. Yeah, it's got to be different, right? Like what's going to work on LinkedIn is not going to work on Instagram and so on. I'm not going to post a selfie on, on LinkedIn. But <laughs> but a lot of the text content can be really similar. So yes, get started with the with the platform that feels most, I don't know, interesting to you or is easiest to stay consistent with. Nail that and develop systems to nail that. So that's the other thing I'd say. If you only have an hour make the most of that hour. Like one of the things that I do that it, that um, really helps me is I've created, I use Twitter for inspiration. And I've created a list of Twitter accounts that kind of inspire me. And a couple times a week, I'll go through that list and I'll take screenshots of any post that really speaks to me. And then I'll use that as kind of inspiration to craft posts on similar topics. I'll never copy it. I'm not that person. I hate those people. But I'll use it as inspiration. So they'll talk about, I don't know, mindset. And I'll, I'll share something for me about mindset or things like that. And so I collect that kind of inspiration throughout the week. And then usually on Sundays, I write a bunch of posts and sometimes I'll schedule them. Sometimes I'll... Um, uh, post them natively throughout the week. It depends on the platform. Um, but that has really helped me. So also think about the systems, the habits and routines that you can create that just make it easier.